friends, it's Becca G NYC. I'm here with my sister Claudia, and we are currently in quarantine, so this is a more chill, laid back video. This video is not sponsored whatsoever, but I'm just fangirling over this company's very unique type of candles, and I wanted to do an unboxing, but I already sniffed all of them yesterday because I was just too excited, so Claudia is gonna be the one to experience them for the first time. The company is called Spireside. I'm, I'm assuming it's supposed to sound like Fireside with the word inspire, just assuming. I just discovered them, but what I like about them is each scent they have is supposed to like bring you to a certain um, location. They're not normal scents. Yeah, it's like mixtures of scents that are supposed to be like a scene. If you're familiar with my channel, you'd know that I'm a filmmaker, I work in the industry, so something I really appreciate is um, set design and being drawn into a scene. So I thought these smells were very creative. And what's the word? Immersive. I got their wax burner versions because there were so many different scents I wanted to try. I also like the art they use, and if you know me, I had to try Ghostly Castle. I was very curious. So here's an example, Viking Voyage, and they usually combine three scents. Glacial Fjords, Sweet Ocean Air, Salt Water, and Ice. So things you would associate with that setting. <laughs> Of course that's what I would associate with <laughs> Viking's Voyage. This is called Wizard's Forest. Earthy ancient oaks. Ancient? How do you wow. do that smell? Flickering flame. I'm honestly curious to try that. So you can see <laughs> how this grabbed me. Not just normal scents, just very creative and the design, all that, okay. So the particular ones I got, I'm really into adventure, fantasy, and dark like horror type stuff. So that's the theme these are gonna be today. Claudia is going to guess the smell. We're gonna see if these scents really smell like the places. So Mix them up. Her options are Pirate's Revenge, Ghostly Castle, Enchanted Library, Gothic Library, Beauty Sleep, and Headless Horseman's Ride. All right, Claudia, are you ready? I am ready. All right, smell number one. Okay. Oh, I already smell it. That's strong. That's amazing. What does that smell like to you? Okay, automatic cinnamon vibes. So, do you need to look at your options? Let me smell one more time. Yeah, okay, so. So cinnamon, I'm thinking something relaxing or like foresty vibes. So what do we got going on? So my first thought is like either Beauty Sleep, Headless Horseman. I'm not sure what Pirate's Revenge would smell like. I got nothing for that <laughs> one. Okay, so I'm between those. If I'm thinking Cinnamon, total fall vibe. So I think I gotta go with Headless Horseman for this one. And you are correct. That is Headless Horseman's Ride. <laughs> now, I personally would put more like- How though? <laughs> oh yeah, let's pull it up. Let's see what smells they put in there. The scents that are included are crushed pumpkins, trampled leaves, and steaming mold cider. I don't think I smelled cider, but definitely pumpkins. I, now that we're th <laughs> now I, I'm thinking about it. I got pumpkin spice. I personally would put more forest and foresty type smell, because that's what I think of with Headless Horseman's Ride but uh, very appropriately labeled. Now we started easy. It's okay. gonna get more intense. Oh. Oh geez. Oh, I already smell it. Oh. Okay. It's very intense. Oh. Yeah, there's there's an underlining smell and I kept my finger on it. Can okay, I smell one more time? I don't know if I'm gonna be burning this one, but it is very interesting. Okay, I'm gonna open my eyes. First thing I smell is like um, a soapy, maybe old woman perfume. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure what that would be. Cause like at first you would think soap is like beauty sleep, like refreshing, coming out of the shower, but it's so intense that I feel like it's not, not that. No, it can't be beauty sleep. It can't. 
Would you say it's too intense for beauty sleep? I think it's too intense for beauty sleep. Could be Ghostly Castle, it could be Enchanted Library. I'm gonna go with Enchanted Library. And you're right. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Enchanted Library, aged library books, wild roses, and a hint of leather. I will say this is a unique smell that I've never smelled before. Yeah. There's multiple smells in that one for sure. Like the Headless Horseman one was like just that pumpkin spice to me, but there was layers in that one. <laughs> I can taste that one. Oh, okay. That was intense, very intense. All right, next one. Go for it. That's good. There it is. Okay. <laughs> I definitely know this one. Um, Straight up. You first smell some fruit. You could probably open your eyes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> fruit? First thing it smells like a fruity scent. And I like it. Okay. <laughs> and then the church pops out. I feel like it hands down that's the, um, what is it? The gothic one? Gothic, gothic library. library. <laughs> so I, I did burn this one already just because I was very curious. Um, yeah, I did smell some incense yesterday. Claudia well, thought it's like, what smells like a church? So, um... That is correct. It is gothic library. I smelled fruit though too. I can see there's like some sweetness in there. Medieval books. What do medieval books smell like? Aged papyrus and musty pages. That's Honestly, nasty. that is exactly what this smells like. They nailed it. I can't even explain. Like, That's exactly because it's like it's church, but it's not just that. Like it's definitely spooky. Like it smells spooky. It smells spooky. I don't know how to explain that, but you smell it and it brings you to a gothic library. So, oh, accurate. Nailed it. Are you ready for the I'm next ready. one? Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, this one's really nice. This is like fresh out of the bubble bath. Mmm. Flowers, maybe. Okay, it's gotta be either Beauty Sleep and I'm Pirates of Revenge is on there because it's like water. But it smells too happy to be Pirate's Revenge, so I think I gotta go Beauty Sleep. Yeah. No way. <laughs> Honestly, this smells so relaxing. That, it smells relaxing. Yeah, that's nice. Claude, you're really good at this. I'm shocked. Either she's really good at it, or this company, like, is really good at Shout out. Again, not Spider sponsored, Spider. but if you guys want to sponsor me, like, Pink Sugar, so sweet berries, Fresh fig leaves, orange peel, and French lavender. Yeah. I got all of that. Yeah. Wow. So accurate. So there's only two left, so maybe you should show me both. This is what I'm gonna have you smell first. And this is what I'm gonna have you smell second. Okay. Your options are between Ghostly Castle and Pirate's Revenge. Okay. Very curious about this pirate one. Here's number one. Oh, that's nice. It smells like, um, just straight off the bat, a Halloween store. Really? Yes. Yeah, smell, it smells like a Halloween I store. I see what you're saying, but take like <laughs> a deep whiff. Okay. There's something underlying. Yeah, there is something underlining it. That's nice. Okay, so that's number one. And here's number two. Ooh, this is nice too. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. That smells like an old house. Ooh. Which is which? Because I could picture both of them being either of them. I can see that. But um, so far, your your analysis I'm, seems pretty good. I know, no, I'm gonna ruin it with this one. I know I am. All right, here's number one again. <laughs> oh no! And here's number two. Um, because I, I smell both in either. Okay. I'll go with, cause, because I, I said house first thing. I did not say house with the first one. So I'm gonna have to say second one's yeah. gotta be Ghostly Castle. Pirate's Branch is the first one. And you are correct. Wow. So that was so good with the old house. I can't believe you smelled yeah, that. Yeah, that was the first so, thing that came into mind. Claudia, I'm telling you, as soon as I open Pirate's Revenge I and I smell it, I am brought to like a pirate ship. That's so crazy. And this does smell like an old house. I don't know if it's something I would burn, personally. 
Yeah, these are actually, they're not too far off from each other, but I feel like there's like a fruitiness, like a sweetness in this one that like really puts it. And there's like a lemongrass type yeah. thing in this one. So let's read the descriptions of those. Just Pirate's Revenge, and I'm a big Pirates of the Caribbean fan, so. <laughs> It smells a little bit like the ride, like a little bit like that water. Oh my God, the water, yes. Musty ocean water, salty sea breeze, cannon fire and smoke. I don't know if I get cannon fire and smoke, but honestly, that's interesting. Ghostly castle, musty carpets. Who wants musty? <laughs> Dusty furnishes, graveyard, graveyard grasses. grasses. <laughs> But they smell good, like it's not bad. It smells like an old lady, like the how I imagine the Winchester house smelling. And that is a haunted house. Actually, I kind of smell grass. Now that I think about it, but it smells good. Yeah. It's grass. I like it. I made this video because I am just fangirling over. There's few things you can enjoy during quarantine. I wanted to try this. It looks so interesting to me. Again, it was just a very creative concept. And I just wanted to give a shout out to Spireside for really like nailing this. Like I tried a different yeah. pirate scent before and it just was really intense and only smelled like lemongrass and I was not getting pirate from it. But sure. man, Spireside, shout out to you. I will probably definitely get something again once these are burned out. Thank you, Claudia, for volunteering your nose. <laughs> My analysis of this is they do smell like the things, these items, but like the better side of these items, if that makes sense. Like, I don't think anyone wants like a real dusty ghostly castle. So that's why I'd say it, it could be more accurate, but I don't know if you want it to be more accurate. That's up to you. Yes. But overall, awesome. Great job, Spireside. This video was super fun and I kind of want to do more like this. Um, if you enjoyed Claudia, please give this a thumbs up. <laughs> you can check her out. Her socials and links will be in the description below. You can find Claudia on iTunes and SoundCloud. Yeah. I'll put her links down below. Thank you for watching. We will see you around. Bye. Bye. So I thought these smells were very creative and what's the word? Innovative? No, embracing. Not inviting. Invoking? Involved. Immersive. <laughs>